Alright, welcome back to another Windows Server 2008 activity. This is activity 9-5 and now we are working with reverse lookup zones. So we are just going to be looking at how reverse lookup zones work and so we're just going to explore some existing uh, reverse lookup zones and uh, create a new IP address for our server that doesn't have a reverse lookup zone and then create a zone for that IP address. So I've logged on as administrator and I've opened DNS manager here. Uh, so first we want to assign an IP address for an reverse lookup zone that doesn't exist yet. So we are going to uh, go all the way into our uh, network connections here. Alright, so once we are into that one, we're going to want to go into the advanced and we are going to add another IP address. We'll give it a 250. Makes our subnet mask for us. Okay, so we've created that one. And then we want to Uh, just click OK to end all these menus here. Alright, so we want to get back to our DNS manager. And we want to click to expand our server, which we've done, and then click Reverse Lookup Zones. And then we want to right click and put a new zone in here. So in the zone type window, we want to select the settings to create a primary zone and store it in Active Directory. So we've got both of those clicked. We'll hit Next. And then we want to replicate the zone to all DNS servers in the domain, which is already clicked. And for the next box, we want to uh, do an IPv4 reverse lookup zone. So once we do that, once the network ID, so we will put uh, the part of the network ID, which is 192.168.92, and hit next. So in the dynamic update window here, we want to click do not allow dynamic updates. Go to next. And then finish. So we want to click on the folder that was just created here, uh, which was this 92.168.192 in ADDR dot ARPA and we have an SOA file and a an S record in there uh, so under forward lookup zones we want to look at the external.com and double click the server xxext so in the IP address text box we want to type in 192.168.92.250 oops 250 
and then make sure we update associated pointer record box. It is checked. And then hit OK. So in the left pane of DNS Manager, we want to go back to our folder we created. So if our PTR record isn't there, we just need to click um, Action. We can refresh. So there you go. Now we do have a pointer record in there. So now we want to open up a command prompt real quick and do nslookup six eight nine two dot two fifty. So we can see that it's returned the server 06 dash ext dot server domain name dash external dot com returned. So there you go there. So at, at this point we won't be using the secondary IP address. Um, so you can go ahead and remove that if you're going to be working further in this on the activities. Uh, but that is a little bit of how you uh, get those reverse lookup zones set up um, in Windows Server 2008. Thank you very much for watching.